What is going on everybody? The day has come to do the airbox mod on my Honda Grom SF 2018. It's quite simple. Unscrew all the screws to this thing. We're not going to take it off. I mean taking all these panels off. I cannot be bothered. I've just come back home from work and decided to do this. Loads of people have done this. Let's just get to it. I'm going to do a step by step tutorial kind of thing. How to do it, how to not do it. Don't know how this is going to work out. But yeah, let's see what happens. So, I'm going to unscrew this. It's going to be hard recording and maybe move the forks to the left here. That's much better. Record this like this. And unscrew all the screws around there probably gonna need different sizes of screwdrivers because I can see bits where I probably won't be able to get to but yeah I'm gonna listen to music in the background because it's so quiet in here great alright you're not gonna watch the whole video of me unscrewing screws I'll get back to you once I unscrewed all of them I've done the left side, well, the bike's right side. I'm gonna do this side. And I'm not gonna lie, all these are alright. But this one here is hard to get to. This one I've done crazy. I was lazy, couldn't be bothered to go back upstairs to get a smaller screwdriver. So yeah, let's carry on with the unscrewing. Alright, I managed to unscrew the last screw. And the cover actually came off like this. That's what happened. Just take it off, put it to the side, and that's what you want. That's the good stuff. And now, you can see, there's more screws. So, just get unscrewing. Yep, that's unscrewed, and this comes right off. Uh, yeah, so that's the stuff that you want to get out. That's how it looks. It is very dirty. Once I do the service, I'm gonna get that changed. So don't worry about that. Now I'm gonna have to do this whole thing all over again. But yeah, let's come over to the table. And now you're gonna need something like this. This bit here, just to cut this plastic stuff off. Hopefully I can do this in my one hand. I'm using my right hand. So my right hand. Oh, I just realized something, I forgot. Alright, one second. Let me change the camera here a little bit. Hold it with two hands. <laughs> this looks much easier for the people that have done this already. Yep, back. Managed to do this off camera, I'm sorry. I told you. I'm actually doing better off camera and poof, and it's gone. And now, we got a proper airflow. This, like this, just doesn't allow air to go in. And now, I'm gonna go over to the actual filter. And now, interesting stuff, interesting stuff. This, let me just get the camera in. This hose, I need to get this out completely. Let's see if I can do this. I really don't know how I'm doing it. Alright, I've got the side off. Basically, you're gonna have to take it off anyways. Because these hoses, all of that, you wanna cut that. And take this off, innit? This whole thing. So you're better off just cutting this. I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna put the camera down because I don't want to cut the hoses or anything like that. Pretty sure there's petrol line or something like that here. Alright, catch you in a second. After all of these cuts, I've managed to take this thing through. Oh, I think in the older models, this pipe comes in two parts and it breaks off easier from the inside. 
So 18 model, you actually have to take off the side and cut it around and squeeze it through. Finally come out. Now, other side. We've got one more thing to do and this is going to be even harder. Steering side. Now, we need to get this off. Which is going to be hard as hell. So I'm not going to record it either, but you need to see this the metal and you've got this pin, plastic pin, take that out. The same thing for the top. And here, the pipe should split, so you'll be all right there. Yeah. All right, I managed to pop that metal bit off and the pipe just comes right off like this. So that can go in the bin. All right, as we're here, I've literally just screwed back on the filter and look how much more space you have for air to fly in and out. This is supposedly gonna give you more power, but I don't know, it's a 125 at the end of the day and how much power can you get out of a 125? Everything stocks, everything's stuck on the engine, just bits and bobs there, just cosmetics. And now this is like the most performance part I'm doing to the back and obviously not counting the exhaust. Exhaust is the zoom exhaust. And yeah, we're gonna see, um, I won't reset the ECU. I'm gonna start and see if there's like a noticeable difference, but I might reset it just so the fuel and air ratio corrects itself. But yeah, let's get back to putting it back together. All right, it's time. Yeah, that sounds good. Can't actually rev it up because it's, yeah, that's the time. I'm gonna do a test ride tomorrow on the way to work. I'll record it, then I'll give you my opinion and if it's worth it yeah it's worth it it's for free but yeah add more bits to it soon new handlebars are coming new um levers bikes going back to white don't mind that piece of shit it's not mine yeah i'm gonna fix up my rear sets tires are right now nobbies i dislike them on the road because it's slippery every corner yeah gonna change the bike up a little bit and I need to fix this. <laughs> so yeah, catch you on the next one. What is going on guys? Literally just got back from a ride. That's probably why um, the quality is different because I'm recording this on my phone because my GoPro is at home. And all I've got to say is there's no difference. Literally no difference. Maybe a little bit, but you cannot feel it. You can't feel it whatsoever. Yeah. Maybe it's because I'm running off for tyres, not too sure. I'll see you once I get my tyres on.